Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for like my unmade bed that you see here. <laughs> it's been a busy morning. Um, I got up, brought my kids to school, and then I had to go actually to my hospital um, that I work at, which is like 40 minutes away from where I live, um, to go get an MRI of my hip. And I had to get a procedure done first in interventional radiology where they actually inject like a contrast dye into your hip. Um, and it took a lot longer than they thought. So I'm going to kind of, I don't want to rush through this, but I kind of have to because I have a few videos to make before I have to go pick up my kids. Um, so I, if any of you saw any of my posts or whatever, I just had this hip that has hurt really bad. Oh, not all the time, just in certain positions. It gets like it clicks a lot and I can't like sit cross-legged and I can't like, if I like bend over to like, say like I'm shaving my legs in the shower or something, when I like stand up, it gets like stuck in a certain spot and then I have to like force a straight stand up and it hurts really bad and like gets back into place. Anyways, the orthopedic specialist thought things that I have like a like cracked cartilage. So they had to actually go into my like hip joint space and interventional radiology today and inject like the contrast into the cartilage. Um, and because I have a lot of scar tissue in there, it was a lengthy process, but so I'm kind of tired. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> I'm here to talk to you guys about K's. <laughs> have I talked to you guys about K's before? <laughs> only like 500 times. I have more K's customs. Not only that, but I got a surprise in my box from a dear, dear wax friend, but also I just feel like friend, Melissa Ferguson, if you guys know, her in the wax community. She is such a sweetheart. Like you can just tell that she is so pure of heart and just sunshine. Like just a per, you know how that you meet certain people and you interact with them and you talk to them and you're like, this person is just made of sunshine. That is her. And she's going through some stuff too. And through all that, she just is a sweetheart. And I just, uh, I admire people like that so much. Um, so she apparently got together with Carla <laughs> and sent me some things for my birthday, which was uh, May 5th, I'm a Cinco de Mayo baby. Um, in case you guys don't know, I am a Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, that explains me very well. <laughs> so um, anyways, I just am so like blown away by these things she sent. So she had Carla send me, let me grab this. It was the cutest bag, The these um, four packs of of cuts and I'll show you them what, what cuts mean in a second it was in this really cute bag with um, K stamp on it. It had this really cute ribbon on it that apparently I misplaced because I wanted to smell them so quickly. Um, but her cuts bags, I'll show you the back of it before showing you the scent on this one that she sent me. This is an eight ounce cuts bag from Carla from K's in case you don't know. Um, they're cut into half ounce um, pieces. And these are now $11, I believe, because this is the size of customs I also purchased. So Melissa had her send me two bags of lavender linen, which she just knows, I believe, that I love this scent. Oh, gosh, you guys. The, the part, okay, part of the reason why I love this scent so much, you have to really experience it. There is a texture to how this smells. It's like, it smells like, have you ever seen those like ASMR videos where they like cut soap up? Like they cut it like in cubes and then like shave it off. I, I don't, I don't know why those were ever start, like start, like, I don't know why they were ever made in the first place. Um, but they're cool. <laughs> the texture of the scent like smells like how that texture looks of that soap being like shaved off. And I don't know how else to explain that, but that's what this smells like. Plus like lavender, like a, not super herbal and not sweet, just lavender. I mean, I like super herbal lavender. Someone might think this is herbal. And the linen in here isn't like super laundry-ish. It's just fresh, like super fresh air. Oh, Melissa, you are the best. Um, I will be going through these very quickly because this is amazing. And then I think these two were um melissa's customs and i i believe i should have gone on to carla's page and just double checked that i saw and i was like oh those look amazing i'm pretty sure this one is like for sure um this is amber noir cashmere black and blackberry frankincense if you guys have watched my videos in the past you know that i am in love with carla's blackberry frankincense it's amazing by itself it's amazing in blends like 
if you haven't tried Blackberry Frankincense, do yourself a favor and try it. And then Cashmere Black is a Donna Karen type and Amber Noir, I think it's a Bath and Body Works type. It's a very like deep resinous amber scent. And I would have never thought to put these together, but like, I think when I, Melissa posted it and I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, you're a genius. <laughs> oh yes. So of course I most, mostly get blackberry frankincense. You guys, um, if you make a blend with it, just so you know, it's a very strong oil, like very, very strong oil. Cashmere black. I've also had on its own and it's a gorgeous, deep, musky, resinous, uh, perfume, female perfume scent, but it's also like edges on masculine but it's not nearly as strong as, as a uh, blackberry frankincense, but I smell it in here. Amber Noir is a pretty strong oil too, but not as strong as blackberry frankincense. Oh, this is just, so to me, this smells like blackberry frankincense with this base of Amber Noir. And then like, as you pull it away, you get this like edge of cashmere black, very like nighttime, sensual, sexy, Amazing. Melissa, you did a great job on this one. And then I believe also this is hers. Um, this is lavender, chamomile, uh, rosemary, mint, and white tea. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, yeah. The white tea is pretty strong in here. So she must have made the rosemary mint quite a small um, percentage. And the white tea pretty strong. Because I smell mostly white tea. I smell hardly any mint in here. The white tea is very, very strong with just a tiny bit of lavender chamomile. Chamomile, sorry, however people say it. And I don't really, I smell the tiniest bit of rosemary mint, but like not at all. So yeah, this smells really good. This smells like white tea, but um, given more of a base with that lavender chamomile. So very nice. Thank you so, so much, Melissa. That was like made my day after this crazy morning I had. <laughs> and thank you so much for my birthday present. I just, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> so, um, let me start by, in case you guys don't know, Kay's wax. I don't know. I have so many videos. I have playlists. I have a playlist for her. Carla Meredith owns it. She has a few employees now. Connie is one of them. Why can't I remember the other gal that just started his name, but she has a couple people that help her Carla's amazing. Some of the best customer service. She has so many scents available. I always suggest that new waxies start with K's because she sells so many single scent oils. You can experience those yourself in small amounts or you can order them in large cuts. And then you can also do customs at any time. The like options are endless. So let me give you, let's do samples here. She sent me a little candy, which will be going to my kids. This, whoa. Hold on, guys. I just drank a giant coffee on the way home from that um, MRI, too, because I didn't want to have it before because I didn't want to be all antsy and wiggly during the MRI. So on the way back, I got a Trenta light ice black coffee with nothing in it from Starbucks. So anyways, um, I got sent this really cute little like owl with these giant eyes and banana nut bread, banana flambe and zucchini bread. I've actually really been wanting to try her banana flambe. Oh, whoa. Okay. Let me, so I actually really like banana bakery scents. They're one of my very favorite bakery scents, but the reason I never buy them is because they, tr they more than any bakery scent in the wax world makes me very hungry. And I have been in this weight loss situation. <laughs> well, my whole life, but especially the last two years, I've lost almost 80 pounds, 78 pounds now in the last two, about two, two and a half years. Um, and when I melt banana nut bread, banana carbs, banana, anything like that, I get so hungry. This smells amazing. Amazing. This to me, the banana nut bread, banana flambe and zucchini bread all together just smells like a really like amazingly delicious banana bread. Wow. I don't know if that's a customer blend or if Carla brought, made that, but wow. Okay. And then I have a few scent cups. Oh, did I order these? Yes, I ordered these scent cups. Um, so this first one I ordered, because it's actually in one of my um, customs, and I knew what was in it and what it would smell like, but I wanted it by itself also, just to see if maybe I wanted to cut, like a cut bag of just this. 
So this is Apple Fireside, which is Mac Apple, Palo Santo, and Marshmallow Fireside. Mmm, yeah, it's very nice. Mm, I definitely get the Mac Apple first, then the Marshmallow Fireside, which usually I've spoken about before. Um, I usually can't really smell Marshmallow Fireside, but I can definitely smell it here with just a touch of Palo Santo. This by itself would be great, um, but I will share with you my custom that I put that in. And then I wanted to smell her blue sugar just by itself. Ooh, yeah. I mean, I know that most blue sugar oils are like the same or similar, but this is definitely like heavier on the woods than some that I've smelled. Oh, gosh, I love blue sugar. I know some, I know that blue sugar is more masculine than pink sugar, but if blue sugar was still being made, it's not the actual cologne. I know you can get like dupes and stuff like that, but I would wear blue sugar Definitely. I wear pink sugar sometimes, um, but I actually like blue sugar better. So, and then, um, I just got a couple of just her plain lavender. She has a couple different lavenders on her site. Um, and I, I've made, um, customs with them before. I just want to smell what her just like lavender smelled like. And it's definitely more on the herbal side, but there is a touch of a sweetness to it. Like it smells like a lavender flower. Yeah, really nice. More on the clean side, um, but definitely like a floral lavender to my nose. Okay, so let me get down to my customs. And I actually saved the papers because um, some of them I gave Carla percentages for. Some of them I didn't. One, I even put like a question mark, meaning like, please do whatever smells good. <laughs> and then a couple of them, I wrote down the um, notes of the oils just to like explain to you. Okay, so... Um, Sorry, I know I always reference my other videos, but if you didn't know, <laughs> in the fall and winter, one of my very, very favorite favorite fragrance oils ever is Autumn Flannel. Um, it's a very smoky, somewhat clovey, spicy oil by itself. I love it so much. In fact, I was almost like enticed to get a couple of cuts bag with just Autumn Flannel, but I'm like, Danny, last fall, I believe I, or I melted... I think I got a whole cut bag of it of it or I might have ordered like enough of these like two ounce scent shots to like equal a cut bag and melted that many I can't remember what I did but I melted a ton of autumn flannel and I never got sick of it I especially like melting this at night during the fall and winter so on her website the definition of autumn flannel says a soft and Soft and bold. It has spices over a smoky woody base. But then I went on to like Google and looked at the fragrance oil. Top notes are vanilla bean, almond, and caramel. Middle notes are um, ginger, bay leaf, clove, and cinnamon. And base notes are leather, amber, tonka, smoky woods, cashmere, musk. And to me, it's definitely smoky. It's definitely clovey. And it's there. the woods in there is almost like a really, really masculine laundry not cologne but like like literally like you've worn like a man has worn a flannel shirt in the woods is like kind of what it smells like and this first custom I just mixed it with mac apple I just wanted like a fall scent that was like that clove smoke whatever with mac apple and I had her do let's see oh, what did I have her do Oh, so Mac Apple is a really strong oil too. So I had to do 75% autumn flannel and 25% Mac Apple. Oh man, this is great. Um, so I definitely get Mac Apple, but I really get the autumn flannel too. So I'm glad I went with that ratio. So I get like, and when I say clove, you guys, I'm not saying like, oh, pumpkin spice, fall spices. I'm telling you like you're pulling a clove out to stick it in an orange peel like it's in your hand clove. You have to like clove. <laughs> Do like autumn flannel and it almost smells like you're like smoking those cloves not not smoking like this I mean like over a fire or something <laughs> or in a smoker mm. so you have to like like realistic smoky clove scents oh man Carla I really wonder I need to talk to Carla and see how she liked these if she smelled them maybe Connie made these because Connie did make a note um, it was Connie that made the note. So maybe Carla didn't smell them yet, but, oh, that's good. This is a very like smoky, once again, smoky, clovey apple. Very nice. And I can even see wanting to add something else to this too, like a birch or a, like add a tree note or something to this, but this is really, really nice. 
And then I had one other, let me get my other flannel scent before I go on to my other ones. Okay. Uh, so Carla has that newer oil called cranberry oak that I am obsessed with. It's that dark tart cranberry. I call it bloody cranberry. Um, with just some spices in it and some woods, but it's really like a dark tart puckery, amazing cranberry. And I mixed that with autumn flannel and I did 50, 50 on that, be, uh, on the ratios because cranberry oak is strong, but it's not as strong as Mac apple. So, oh yes. I'm so glad I did that. Okay. I like this one even more than the Mac apple blend. So this, like I said, is autumn flannel, cranberry oak. This is like the epitome of like a realistic fall scent. Like this isn't like a marketed fall scent. This is like truly smells like, oh gosh, you guys, this is even better. I like that Mac apple one. This is better. Holy cow. Her, you guys have to try her cranberry oak oil. Oh my gosh. It is to die for. She has a lot of cranberry oils. Um, she has like cranberry wood. She has spiced cranberry, um, cranberry, um, very merry cranberry. Oh, what's the other one? There's a few, she has quite a few, but this is my favorite cranberry oil, cranberry oil that she has. And this smells like that tart, juicy, delicious cranberry with like a woods base with the spicy clove and smoke. Oh my gosh. This is hit on the nail, head of the nail, whatever you say. Amazing. Thank you so much. Okay. So the next one up, um, so I called this one, forget your worries. And a lot of times when you hear names like that, you probably think like lavender and mint or like a cuddly scent or something like that. I made something like, say you were to have, not that, I don't always have like the best family memories because I have a weird childhood story. Um, but I, I feel like the times in my life when I'm able to like truly forget my worries is when I'm away from work, away from normal life. Like I'm literally taken and placed somewhere else. Meaning like you go on vacation or something. Not that I ever get to go on vacation, but like, and we don't really camp either. We're not really outdoorsy people. Um, but when you actually have to do like activities that like phones are not involved, connecting to work is not involved. Like you are literally taken out of life to go do things. And there's a couple memories in my life where that has happened. And it usually, I have fond memories of it. And it usually somehow included like home baking and being around a fire and being wrapped up in blankets. And like, does this make sense? I'm sorry if it doesn't make any sense. There, It's just like parts of memories that I'm like, that is when you feel happy and you connect to other humans and stuff like that. Um, that to me is when I truly forget my like worries is cause you're like, wow, I can, I truly connected with humans without being distracted by other things or having to worry about, I'm a list person. And so not having to worry about lists, if that makes sense. So long story short, if that made any sense to you guys, I'm a little bit crazy. I'm sorry, but forget your worries. This is the one that I put the apple fireside in. And if you remember apple fireside is Mac apple, Palo Santo and marshmallow fireside. So I blended that with her oatmeal cookies oil and toasted marshmallow oil. And I called it forget your worries. And let me tell you what percentages I did. And if not also like you can always just tell Carla, like Danny's, uh, combo, uh, custom with these oils or whatever. And she keeps, um, track of them so she can make them again. Uh, I said, I just said one third of each oil, please is what I asked for. So let's give it a sniff. Ooh, yes. So I thought about like apple fire, fireside, like, you know, fall scents kind of, but around a fire, it's kind of cold outside. You're wrapped in blankets, oatmeal cookies, home baking, like using your hands to actually like cook something and just toasted marshmallow because I really dislike marshmallows, you guys, but if they're toasted and in a s'more, I love them so much. So I just think I just kind of put a couple memories together and made this scent. So this smells like bakery. Like this almost smells like if you were to like bake an apple with like, um, like over a fire and you've stuffed it with like apple crisp stuffing. Does that make sense? 
It's like a sweetened apple crisp smoky scent. It's amazing. Oh man, that's good. This is another staple for me. This is so good. Um, I hope the story behind that made sense. <laughs> so, okay. The next one, there's not really a story behind it. Um, it's just that I love these two oils. Like they're two, they're two oils. One of the oils I've known about for a long time. The other one is somewhat newer to me, like within the last couple of months. And I just, I've melted both of them a lot recently. And I thought, man, those would go together well. In fact, I messaged Carla about it. And I was like, what do you think about this? And she said, yeah, I think those would go together very well. So this is olive branches and cashmere cedar. So olive branches is a scent that is from Lush. It's a Lush type. And I have always loved that scent. And then cashmere cedar, did I write it down what it was? Yes, I did. Um, so cashmere cedar says creamy vanilla, light florals, woody bed of cedar, wood, and musk. To me, cashmere cedar is like a very like fresh, almost sharp woody scent. That is like, it almost smells like wooly. Like it smells rough, but sharp at the same time. It's very strong um, to my nose. And I've had it in a couple blends recently that I really, really liked. I almost to this blend added blue sugar because blue sugar and cashmere cedar smell so good together. But I was afraid that the olive branch would get lost in that blend. And I really love olive branch. So I just decided to go with these two together. And because cashmere cedar is so strong, I requested 75% olive branch oil and 25% cashmere cedar. And I'm really glad I did because... I really get that olive branches in here, but I absolutely get that cashmere cedar. It's such a strong oil. This ends up just being this really earthy, woodsy, like a little bit rugged, a little bit outdoorsy, yet like cuddle blanket scent. Really nice. It smells very strong. This is really, really nice. Um, I'm so glad I did that one. And thank you, Carla, for helping me with that one. Okay, so this next one, um, once again, Lori Brown um, has gotten me into the volcano oil. So I have problems with it now. And then I've also, I've always, I've always loved fizzy scents. I've always, always loved them. They're always strong. They're fun. Fizzy um, pop, fizzy soda, ginger ale, all those things just always smell like, they, they put me in a good mood. I've, so I've always enjoyed that. And volcano, I've smelled that Capri blue, right? Candle many times. Um, we have a few grocery stores out here that carry them all the time. And I, I love that color that they use. Um, but I don't know, it just kind of never really wowed me or anything like that. And I do like volcano. It does smell good. Um, it's this really like vibrant to me, almost like orange cream scent. I don't think I ended up writing the notes down. But it's supposed to be like a kind of a tropical fruit. I think it's supposed to have driftwood in it and like ocean breeze or ocean water scent or something in it. But to me, it mostly comes off as like a orange dreamsicle a little bit with a touch of mango and like a touch of nectarine kind of a thing is what it smells like to me. And then another one that I uh, purchased from Kay is single oil from her that I've just fallen in love with. And it's a really strong kind of fresh oil. It's called Emerald Agave, and I wrote down these notes for you. So it's sea moss, melon, agave, passion flower, acai, aloe, coconut bark, teakwood, grass, and amber. <laughs> um, it ends up coming off as like a green, a fresh green, but like lush, fruity scent. Another one I'm sorry that you kind of have to experience to like to smell it. But I definitely don't smell like teak wood. The coconut bark, there's like a, I feel like there's a slight creaminess to it. That could be coconut, but not coconut bark. Um, I There's probably a touch of melon in there that makes it smell juicy, but not straight up melon. It's very hard to describe, but it's a very nice oil on its own. But I feel like it brings like this strong freshness to it. So I ended up, another long story. I ended up making Volcano, Fizzy Soda, and Emerald Agave. And I, the percentages on this one are 50% Volcano, 25% Emerald Agave, and 25% Fizzy. And I did that because um, if you guys don't know, Fizzy is a very strong oil, whether it's Fizzy Pop, Fizzy Soda, whatever you want to call it. Emerald Agave is also a very strong oil. To me, Volcano is not as strong, um, and I wanted it to be present. So I made that one a larger part uh, portion. 
And this, I'm glad I did that because Emerald Agave is very strong. <laughs> so yes, I get the volcano in here for sure. That like tropical fruity, orange, peppy scent. Just a little bit of that fizzy. I just wanted it just enough to be like just enough in there to be like a top note that brings everything like elevates everything. And then I get like that nice base of Emerald Agave that kind of elevates it too. Cause Emerald Agave smells kind of like high end. It smells like something that like a high end hotel would want their like lounges to smell like, like a tropical high end hotel would want. So this just ended up really nice. It's kind of like summer fun at a high end hotel is what this smells like. And it smells like it's going to be very strong. Okay. Two more, you guys, this next one is dreaming of sleep. I kind of, um, sorry, I kind of have a story with each one. That's kind of how customs are though. Right. I came up with this name cause I was laying there trying to go to sleep and I couldn't fall asleep, but I also knew I wanted this blend and I couldn't think of a name. Not that I name all of them, but there was a long time where I worked night shift, um, where my husband worked days, I worked nights and we were trying to raise all of our babies and, it was so hard. You guys, it was so hard. I worked full-time night shift. My husband worked full-time day shift. We live in Utah. We're not from here. We don't have family here. Um, and we, when we brought home our twin babies, we had a 15 month old and our oldest was just turning three and she was getting her diagnosis of autism. She had lots of sensory issues. It was insane. <laughs> and we had four kids in diapers and two kids on formula. And, uh, it was insane. <laughs> I don't know. And I just remember being so tired that sometimes when I was at work, I work at a hospital in case you don't know, I'm a respiratory therapist. Um, I would literally, you kind of start losing your mind when you don't sleep. Um, every week there was a chunk of time where I didn't sleep for almost 72 hours. Um, sometimes more than that every single week. And there were some times when I literally would see my patients in their beds and think, Oh, they're sleeping. I should sleep too. And like, want to lay down. That sounds so crazy, but your brain does crazy things when you're tired. And so I kind of made this name dreaming of sleep, like you're daydreaming of sleep. Does that make sense? I hope so. Anyway, and I also base these notes on a scent I really love from another vendor. Um, I, I don't think I got the oils right. That vendor, the scent includes clover and aloe, I think a sweet lavender, but I can't remember. And then something called cotton and cotton and linen or cotton and something. And I couldn't find the oil on Kay's site that or Carla's site. And I didn't ask her for help. I could have, but because I didn't know what that oil is that that other vendor uses. So I tried to guess and I don't think I got the, the laundry part of this. I didn't get right, but this still smells amazing. So I ended up calling it dreaming of sleep. And this is clover and aloe, winter linen and lavender. And I did because clover and aloe is a beautiful oil, but it's not strong compared to the other two. Um, I had her do 50% clover aloe, 25% winter linen and 25% lavender. And I get the winter linen, the strongest, then the lavender, then the clover and aloe. So I should have probably done even stronger clover and aloe, but this still smells really good. It smells like a very fresh lavender linen kind of scent. So very nice, not necessarily what I was going for, but that's what customs are. Sometimes you guys, sometimes you just have to try it out and then you're like, okay, next time that oil competes in this way, next time I will do it differently. Still smells amazing. Just not what I was going for. So, but I still love the name. Um, if I do it again, this blend again, next time I'll probably use a different type of laundry and make sure the clo clover and aloe is much stronger. Okay, last one, guys, I swear. So once again, I um, there's a blend from another vendor. It was actually a customer blend from another vendor that I am in love with. And I have been obsessed with tobacco scents lately, um, especially just at night. They're just so cozy and they feel so homey to me. Um, also, the name. The name of this is called Where To Next. So when I think of like wanting to travel to see places, um, it's always been a dream. I, me and my husband love to travel, but we just don't, you know, have the resources or the time. <laughs> so as most people do, um, I don't think of like, I mean, I want to go to like beaches and tropical places and all that stuff. But 
when I think of places I really want to go, I think of like, just like, I want to go see the culture of the actual people. Like I want to go to the local markets and I want to like be a part of what the people are actually like doing and like worshiping and their daily tasks and why they do them and st like that kind of thing. I think of like daily life of other types of people versus like what experience I can go have in that location. I don't, anyway, so I think of like, I don't know, like spices and the smell of like clothes and what they use to like cook in their homes and um, traditions and things like that. To me, that's what excites me about traveling to other places. And so this scent is called Where To Next. And so the notes that I used here, I've been obsessed with her tobacco leaf and amber so much. It's kind of a honeyed tobacco with some spice in it and this resinous amber scent. You guys, it's to die for. I have a whole cuts bag of just tobacco leaf and amber and it's halfway gone. It's amazing. Um, and then next I put in the oil Lord of Misrule. It's this spicy, it's black pepper, it's patchouli. Um, it's spicy, but like masculine fresh at the same time. It's amazing. Um, that is a lush type. And then um, the blend that I was kind of going after that when I smell that blend, I just think of like where to next. Like I feel like traveling, I'm put somewhere else and it makes me kind of like excited to like learn a, about somebody else in the world kind of a thing. Um, that scent also had some notes in it, but so with Carla, with Cage, you can only do three oils. I, that one I think had four or five oils in it. Um, and so I was trying to kind of condense those two to three other oils into one and kind of make it as close as possible. So I did tobacco leaf and amber, Lord of Misrule and bourbon and butterscotch. Um, cause there was a touch of sweetness in that one, but not much. And this smells very similar to that other one, but sweeter because the butterscotch is not something that was in that other blend, but I knew it was going to be in this one. Um, and I had them do... Oh, I said maybe 33% of each with a question mark. <laughs> mm, so I definitely get the tobacco leaf and amber, which I said, like I said, is like a honeyed tobacco with some spices and amber. And then Lord of Misrule to me is not sweet at all. Um, but it's that patchouli, the woods and the black pepper. And then the bourbon. Bourbon to me, at least in wax, can be somewhat similar to like a tobacco -y scent, but I definitely get butterscotch in here too. So this smells like patchouli, tobacco, amber, spices, black pepper, butterscotch. Like this just smells like an adventure to me. Like this smells like what I would want my adventures to smell like. Um, and so where to next? Like I'm very like, I love this very much. So yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. That's so good, you guys. So good. Thank you, Carla, for making this. Like, just very, very special. Um, so I thought I was done with customs from Carla. But then I was like, I don't know why I think about wax when I'm, like, doing other things in my life. But I do. And I've been thinking of, like, my kids and my husband and life here. And I'm like, I kind of, at some point, not, like, tomorrow, but in the next few weeks, I'm trying to think of customs to describe my husband my like make a custom for each one of my family members. Um, and then I can get on here, talk to you guys about them and explain why, if you're even interested in that, I just love my kids so much. And they're all just like everybody. My kids are each such complex human beings. And so is my husband. And I love their complexities. I love, um, even if they drive me crazy and I love like pointing out to them, their complexities, about like their strengths and like why they're so amazing. And like, I'm in awe of so many different people, types of people. Um, and like, I'm a very loud person. Some, like I was just talking to my coworker yesterday and I kind of explain myself sometimes as like a volcano. If I don't tell you what I'm thinking, the cork will burst off the volcano and it will all come out. So I just have to be upfront honest with you or else it'll get worse. <laughs> so... I'm in awe of people that can be, that have the power to be passive and quiet and um, don't feel like they have to say something. I am in awe of those kind of people. 
Um, I'm in awe of people that are super just sure of themselves. And my husband is that way. And one of my daughters is that way. And I'm in awe of each one of my family members for different reasons. And I think that um, I would just like to make sense about them and talk to you guys about them. If that's something you're interested in, if not, be like, you're crazy. No. <laughs> um, but I've been thinking about that. So that's kind of, I have some like rough draft um, blends on my phone that I've like texted myself. And so we shall see what that ends up being. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And Melissa, once again, thank you so much. You absolutely made my day. I hope you guys are doing well. I have a couple more um, hauls to share with you guys. I'll, probably my kids will be in them because I have to go pick them up right now. Um, I know you guys like when my kids are in the, the videos, but it does make them very interesting. So anyways, let me end this here because we're at almost 36 minutes and this is going to take forever to upload. So um, have a great day, you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you later. Bye.